What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Witten Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Witten Town FC match day vlog. Witten Town are home to Grays Athletic in the Isthmian League North Division. I am really buzzing for this afternoon for Witten Town against Grays Athletic, and it's the last home league game of the season, 2023-2024. But there is two more matches to go, plus the semi-final on Tuesday coming against FC Claxton in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup semi-final. And then the last league game of the season next week, away to Molden and Tiptree. Only three matches to go now, and only two league matches to go. But three matches to go in total, and I'm really looking forward to those coming soon. But let's focus to get the job done for Whitton Town by getting the win against Grays Athletic to finish the season on the high as possible in the league. And um, this season has been a roller coaster year for Whitton Town. There have been some highs and lows this season, and there's lots of good times and bad times this season. But it's a very, very enjoyable season. For our Whitton Town supporters, we really enjoy it this season. There's been a lots of highs and lows this season. It's been a roller coaster season for Whitton Town, but it's a very, very enjoyable one. Despite we had some good times and bad times, but we all really enjoy it this season. But this is a start for Whitton Town in Gary Kimball's second full term in his first year for Whitton Town in his second full term as Whitton Town manager to get into mid-table this season. And now we can start build on to next season with Gary Kimball still in charge as Whitton Town manager because our aim for this season is to start off by finishing mid-table this season and then aim, hopefully, onto bigger things next season with Gary Kimball still in charge as Whitton Town manager next season. I have full support for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, this season. And I've remembered during this season, every single matches, especially the home matches, before the match and before the second half started, when Gary Kimball walked to the touchline, like from our Whitton Town touchline, and I sang his name all the time, one Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. 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 <laughs> he absolutely loved it from the support for Gary Kimball. He absolutely loves it. The reason why I've always backed our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, this season because he loves our club, Whitton Town, close to his heart. For this afternoon against Grace Athletic at home, I am confident that Whitton Town will get a win against Grace Athletic to finish the season on the high. And now I'm about to come away to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Grays Athletic very shortly. I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Grays Athletic in Isthmian League North Division. And it's the last home game of the season, 2023-2024. Two more league games to go, but three more matches to go, because plus a semi-final in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup against FC Clacton coming soon this Tuesday. And I'm really looking forward to it. And the confidence is very high that Whitton Town can finish the season on the high as the season's coming to a close. And I reckon it's gonna be a good game, I reckon, but I am confident Whitton Town can pull off a victory against Grays Athletic and finish the league season on the high to finish mid-table this season. But I am looking forward to this. And um, 
I'm excited, feeling the buzz, and so is my mates of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters and the rest of the Whitton Town supporters are feeling the buzz for this afternoon. And um, this season, I've been getting behind our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, 1000%, and I always have my full support for Gary Kimball this season. And um, in Gary Kimball's second full term, as Whitton Town manager in his second full term and I have my full support for Gary and and I really enjoyed this season and um, the confidence is very high and I'm excited for this afternoon against Grey's Athletic and we've got our singing voices all ready to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff and especially for our Whitton Town manager Gary Kimball as always and I can't believe the season's gone so quick since August at the start of the season because, like we say, we really enjoyed the season. Like, despite it's been a roller coaster season, but can we finish on a high by finishing mid table for Whitton Town this season? And I'm really excited. And we're all feeling the buzz for this afternoon against Grays Athletic. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. I'm now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club for Breakfast Club and I've got the usual full English breakfast, doing the best breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club to fill me boots already for our Whitton Town home support against Grey's Athletic. And now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast at Breakfast Club up at the Whitton Town Football Club and, and I'm just waiting for my mates of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do our interviews of the pre-match forts, half-time forts and full-time forts as always and let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Hi Jack. All right, mate. You looking forward to the game? Absolutely, mate. Three points behind last last league game of the season. Let's go. One hundred percent. Excellent. Hi Gary. Hi. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good game. Yeah. Last game of the season, eh? Yeah, last game of the season. See if we can win, eh? Go out on a bang. Yeah. You looking forward to the game? Yeah. Might as well, eh? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> up the town. Yeah, up the town. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Yeah, see you later, son. Thanks. You looking forward to the game, Kev? Yeah. Uh, Today's game, like I say, it's the last game of the season and uh, the boys, uh, the message will be told by them to go on and put a show on for the fans today, James. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good game and um, we're feeling the buzz for this afternoon. Yeah, like I say, the boys trained hard again uh, Thursday. Like I say, if we're clinical in front of goal today, um, I think that's let us down the last couple of weeks against some really good teams. I think um, we can get a good convincing win here and there's one for the fans today, that's for sure, James. Thank you so much for your time, Kev, and enjoy the game. Cheers, mate. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Leon. Hello, James. How are you doing? Good, thank you. It's the last home league game of the season, 2023-2024, 20, and we've got to go out on a high in the last home league game of the season against Grays Athletic, and we've got to really win against... Grays Athletic if we want to finish mid-table but we're currently 14th in the league and we want to go high as possible but I know we've got only two league games to go and we've got the last league game of the season away at Molden Tiptree next week and plus a semi-final on Tuesday to look forward to and um, the players got to be really up for it to put on the show for our supporters. Yeah. Whitten this season, we've had ups and downs, but, <clears throat> but hopefully these last two league games of the season, this is our last home league of the season, so hopefully we're playing Greys, they're, they're at bottom, they're nearly at the bottom, but but they're safe because Stone Market are points. They've they've hardly not even got any points. Don't mark it. But the Greys are, in my mind, they're safe. We're safe. So this game really don't really even matter at all. But 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 what I want from these players 
is a good performance and and maybe a smashing game. Yeah, one hundred percent. The players got to be really up for this and put on a really good show for our supporters. Last home league game of the season, 2023-2024. And the season's gone pretty quick since August and because we're really enjoying it. It has been a roller coaster season for us, Whitton Town. And there's been lots of highs and lows and um, lots of good times and bad times. And um, wish we went through it this season. But it's been a good, good year for Whitton Town and for our supporters. We really enjoyed it this season. But... We've got something to really look forward to next season, but we've got today's game to, we've got to focus on today's game and make sure the Whitton Town players put on a really good show for our fans and make sure we get the victory and try and finish the season on the high. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got our next two games are, are very easy. We've got, of course, today's game against Grays and Tuesday's game in the semi-final of the Tulsa Darcy Memorial Cup here, which which Tuesday's game will be our last of the season. It'll be our last home game. Mm. And and if we finish that game, if if we win in the semi-final, we we'd be playing Chelsea City. I don't know what round it is, but but our last our last league game this season is against Melbourne Tipsy. That game will be quite interesting, is because last time we went there, um, we got we got beaten three 0 That was in the Essex Senior Cup. The Essex Senior Cup fourth round game, and it was poor that day. But um, we got to try and put get a revenge on Molden Titchery away next Saturday. And um, like we said, we got to make sure we finish the season on the high to finish mid table to try and get us a little bit higher as possible. And um, and then we move on to next season. Yeah, last time we played Melbourne Tiptree here in the cup, oh, in the cup, in the um, in the league, we we beat them three 0 here. Mm. When we played them in the cup at their ground, they beat us three 0 Hopefully, we can go back to their ground and beat them three 0 again. But but what we need to do is focus on today. Just just absolutely. Destroy Razor. Just destroy it. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Leon? I reckon this game's going to be quite easy. I reckon after this game, um, Gary might, might rest a few of the players um, ahead of the Melbourne Tip Tree game and maybe play some of the youngsters um, for, the, um, for the Cup game. But Today's game, I reckon, as it's going to be quite easy, I'm going to have fun. Wow, brilliant. Optimism, that's what we love, we love to see. And I am going to be really positive as well. I'm going 3 0 Whitton Town. Thank you so much for your time, Leon. And let's get our last home game in league, home game of the season, get all three points. And come on, the town. Come on, the town. Come on, the town. Come on. I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Laura and Rick. Hi, Hi James. James. Hi, guys. And it's the last home league mm. game of the season. <laughs> I know it's gone pretty quick, and um, but we enjoyed the season. What yeah. a blast we've had, James. What a blast. <laughs> Amazing season, yeah, it's been an amazing season. It's been like a roller coaster year at the like this season. We've been up there, we've been down there, we've been up there, down there, like you say, <laughs> a roller coaster. But that's what I was about to say. It's been an up and down season, but roller coaster season. But um, but we had we had a really good season for Witten Town, and since Gary's back in his second full term, and we had a good season in my opinion and um on to today's game this this is, we've got to be really up for it like after that positive performance last week which we undeservedly to lose last week and if we play that we did last week we should come away with three points i, I thought we were very we were all really downhearted last week weren't we because we deserved something last we week deserve we, deserve, yeah, we deserved we deserved you know, we played really, really well. The, you know, and it was just heartbreaking that we came away with absolutely nothing. But 
you think, right, they were third, right, we were, we're yeah, third team, and there's no way that they outplayed us. No. They didn't, never in a million years. No way. I even, agree. Even the, top, they, the last three games, right, we played Brentwood, uh, Lower Stoff, and then. And I don't think any of them three teams have outplayed us, no. right, which they haven't, you know. Yeah, but we play better against the top teams we than we do the bottom teams, no. don't we? Like that, like, sorry, like that, that, that chance that Josh had right at the, right at the start, I think, if we'd have scored then, yeah. I think they'd have crumbled. Yeah, but if the goalpost yeah. had been lined up, we would have scored. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but, you know, but that's here or there, that's, that's gone now, isn't it? So we forget that and we start again today and we, you know, three points today would be nice. Yeah, we make sure we get three points and it's the last home league game of the season. We've got the semi-final to look forward to. I can't wait for that. I can't wait as well. And um, and we're really hoping to, to end the season with a trophy, hopefully. But it'll be really tough, but it'll be a great end to the season for Whitton Town with a trophy. But but like we said, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy against FC Clapton because we know they're from the Essex Senior League. And like you said, Rick, they're, they're going to be, it's their cup final. It'll be their cup final, FC Clatton mm. coming over to us and... We can't expect it to be a walkover like no, we did against Stanway, don't we? I agree. We rolled out there yeah. thinking that was going to be a breeze and it really wasn't, was it? Wasn't, was it? So they're going to raise their game and they'll want, they want to beat us on Tuesday night. No matter what happens, mm. they'll want to beat us. They want to beat us! They want to beat us! They want to beat us! You know, they will. You know. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, it's just like the game against Stanway Rovers. It was a really, really poor game, but who cares? We won, but it was a poor performance. But we won that day, and um, but yeah, we make sure we get the three points today, and and hopefully get past FC Clapton, then play Chelsea City in the final. And I don't know what team they put out. I wouldn't have thought they put their first out because they're going for promotion, for aren't promotion, they? they? But yeah. we don't even know when the final's going to be yet, so. You know, nobody knows about that, do they? You know, we've got to beat Clapton first mm. before we even start yeah. thinking about Chelmsford. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. It'll be yeah, fun. I'm, I'm buzzing for Tuesday night as well, and um, and I'm feeling really confident we can get past FC Clapton as long as we put on a hundred percent performance. Mm. Yeah. But but like we said. Clatton are going to be playing like their cup final on Tuesday and um, it won't be easy. And that depends on what team they play as well. Because mm. when we were meant to play the other week, they, the they were saying they? that they're going to put their under 18s out. But mm. Whether they do that or not, I don't know. But so. they're still going to play out their skins, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. To, to prove they're, a point. They've got nothing to lose. To not wit them out, aren't they? So, they've got nothing to lose. But like I said, we've got this game first. You know, one game at a time. Mm. You see, it's, it's yeah, not going to be easy today, I don't yeah. think. You know, it's not going to be easy at all, but yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? Yeah, no, no. We'll see what happens, so... Yeah, I was about to turn up like we did last week, there's no reason why it shouldn't be. You know, no way. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Laura? 3-1, Whitton. Brilliant. What's your score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0, actually, to Whitton today. Brilliant. And you, James? I am going to be really optimistic, Three and years. after <laughs> that... Um, after a positive performance last week, and if we play that we did last week, I believe it will be 3 0 Whitton Town. And I would just like to say, James, thank you for doing this with us week in, week out. You know, you're very welcome. You are, you know, you are Whitton Town FC. Thank you. You need to get a Whitton Town FC tattoo, I think. Definitely, yeah. It's, it's not <laughs> but, just about me, it's about yeah, all of you, us. You, so. you put it out there, James. You put us out you can, there. You can say, we can. We see it from the sideline, whereas a lot of people can see it from... Other you know, we go home and away, don't we? Exactly. 100%. But some, don't you think sometimes that when you get a few people, I'm not mentioning names, but they moan, groan and wail about the players and the, and the game. But they, but they don't go to they, they every game. They don't go to the away games or nothing like that. They just home games. And like Lloyd just said, sometimes it's nice to go somewhere different, isn't it? I love an away I mean, game. Like, like last weekend, it was, it was an eye opener, wasn't it? It was a really good day out. Was, for the and we had a sweet shot. We <laughs> want a sweet shot. We want a sweet shot. Mr. Nichols, we want a sweet shot. A sweet shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a nice ground, though, wasn't it? The ground was superb, wasn't it? Yeah, it was super. It was lovely. We had a good day out. It was a good day out. It was just unfortunate. It was just unfortunate that we obviously what happened with the yeah. score. But today we move on. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing our Jeffrey next week. Yeah, Jeffrey's uh, playing for them next week. So, and, um, um, well, we'll see if he's been injured though. We'll see if he's fit, but yeah. 
Well, so, as I say, James, thank you very much from all the fans. You're you very do an welcome. amazing job. It's all about giving you guys yeah. and every yeah. fans yeah, of Wheaton exactly. Town a big yeah. voice. That's you, what it's you, all about. And we we are everyone, moving everyone forward. Everyone has their own opinion, don't they? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like, everyone, you know. So, fans are entitled to their opinions, yeah, like are. your opinions yeah. and my opinions, and um, we're my the one, opinion. We're the ones that pay the money. Oh, exactly, we're the ones yeah. That got right. the season tickets and pay yeah. the money. We paid our season so, tickets. Do you know what I mean? So we are entitled to our opinions, whether the I players agree. and the management like it or not. One hundred percent. We're entitled to our opinions. One hundred percent. You know, the, the, the latter end of this season, I think we have been really, really good. It's been so really good this year. Good football. We have we've to play some really good football. We've got that silly, that silly thing out of our system now. We're Hoof. booting it. Hoof. We're not donkeys. Play proper football on the deck and we play some good football. Love it, James. Love it. Thank you guys so much for your time and let's hope we can town get the last league game of the season with the home game of the yeah. season with a win yeah. and come on the town. Come on the town! Come on the town! Come on! Come on! I'm now with the another main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum O'Pol. Go guys. Guys, this is the last home league game of the season and um, we're going to make sure we try and finish on a high. After that positive performance last week, we was we undeservedly to lose away to Felix Stoke because we were a much better team last week and we could, we could have gone at least a point last season. But we focused on this afternoon and... Um, and hopefully we come away with all three points and the Whitton Town players put on the show for our supporters. Yeah, look, it's got to be obviously a tough game, but last week was obviously bad in terms of results, but it's shown that we are capable of competing with the teams at the top. You look at Pizza, they're going to go up. We had chances to win the game. They had one chance and they took it, so fair play to them. But this is going to be different, obviously. We know we struggle against the teams at the bottom of the table. So it's going to be a tough game, but our last home game, hopefully we can put on a show and mm. yeah, it's going to be tough, but I think we can we can win the game today and finish on a high. Yeah, I'm feeling really confident we'll finish on a high against Grey's Athletic and like you said, Cam, it's not going to be easy. All games never easy, like two league matches to go now, only two and plus the time gone. final. It's gone so quick, you know, because see, this is about August, it was, it was so quick since like August because I like, really enjoy the season, but it has been a roller coaster season for Whitton Town. But a great season, but roller coaster. But there was lots of highs and lows this season, and um, lots of good times and bad times. But it's like, like Laura said, it's been a good year for Whitton Town, and um, and today's game hopefully we'll get all three points and do our best to finish on the high. Yeah, you're right, it's been a good year, hasn't it? A lot of uh, people said I thought we'd go down and get relegated this season, but we're, we're doing well, finished. Uh, we yeah, proved them wrong. <laughs> and like Callum said, we've competed against some really good sides. I think, yeah, like last week, Felix still had a chance and took it. We had enough chances to win several matches that day. And the game against Brentwood the week before, where we played really well. Yeah. With 10 men. Ten, yeah, that was good. So, that yeah. was really good away at Brentwood Town with 10 men. It was. That was a great effort from the players and that's why we're proud of our players and um, and I think in my opinion that full-time team talk from Kev right in front of our supporters away at Stowe Market Town that changed the whole system of the game in my opinion that that's what made us play it really to well. Work. It seemed to work for what he said because then we seemed to got better after that game we got who is it we Stowe then we <coughs> beat Walton so 3-0 got a good result against Brentwood mm. and then last off we lost but competed same with Felix though. So we've actually seemed like that talk has actually got the players to, to do better. We all thought it wasn't a good idea shouting, but it's got us some good results. So let's hope we can win today. We've got two more games, or what, two more games after this, one more league game. So that's molding away, should be a good one. So yeah, I'm feeling confident and hopefully our final home game, we can put on a good performance so we can get, get three points and try and finish 12th or 13th. I agree, yeah, because we need to make sure, like, plus we've got the semi-final Tuesday and um, I know the Tulsa and Darcy Memorial Cup's a lot tougher this year, but Gary has a great record in his first term that he won in 2012, 2013, runners up in 2014, but it'll be a different story this year in the Tulsa and Darcy, but I believe 
if we play like we did in the previous matches in the semi-final, if we get past FC Clats in the semis and then get to the final, but I know it's going to be tough, but I believe we'll come away with a fantastic end of the season with a trophy, hopefully. Where we've been playing well, let's hope someone's got their shooting boots with them today, because that's what we've been missing, someone who can finish. The last game against Brentwood was the same, the Felix Day game, if we'd have had to convert some of those chances, oh, we had enough to win several matches there. So as long as someone uh, can put the ball in the back of the net today, we'll be alright. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I, I agree, we just need that striker, but I think, mm. It's going to be, I think, it's going to be a hard game. But Greys, you know, they've had different results. They lost four one to Redbridge, mm. beat Stamford three one. Obviously, they went, uh, they went to down to ten men pretty early on against Redbridge. So obviously that, that was going to be a lot harder for them. But you know, we shown in Brentwood that even if you go down ten men, you can still win the game. So mm. obviously Redbridge then beat them comfortably. So, but then they went and got a three one against Stone Market. So. You know, you what, what, whatever, what grade you're going to turn up, that's the question. Mm. If we can turn up like we did against Felix, though, then we can comfortably win the game easily. But if we don't turn up, then it's going to be a struggle because we know they're near the bottom, but they're still a good a good sign that have got a, a big threat of grey. So it'll be tough. But I think, yeah, I think we'll get three points today. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? What, what do you think? Yeah. I think if we can get someone to actually score, we'll be all right. So I'll go 2-0 with we'll go confident. And what's your score prediction, Callum? Um, I'll go, well, it's going to be hard, but I think we'll get over the line. I'm going to go 2-1 with him. It's not going to be easy, but um, but after that brilliant performance away at Phoenix Stone, Walter United, I know we lost only 1-0, but that was a great performance from the lads. But if we play like we did last week, I think we're going 3-0 Whitton Town. Yeah, that's a good prediction. If we can play like we did last week, then there's no question we can we can win. It's just if the win from last week turns up, then we'll win this game comfortably. I agree, and, and we've got to take our chances on goal, and um, but we've got to like start taking our chances because all season we had chance after chance and we we should have took our chances in my opinion at this level but um if you want to be higher in the table we, we've got to like take our chances at this level 100 percent, and yeah come on the winter come on winter come on one gary kimball there's only one gary kimball one gary kimball there's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary. Wait some time. Wait some time. Wittum Town, 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 Wittum a massive everywhere we go, Wittum a massive everywhere we go, everywhere we go, one, two, three, four. Whitam a massive everywhere we go. Whitam a massive everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Whitam town, Whitam town, Whitam town, Whitam town. Whitam army, Whitam army, Whitam army, Whitam army, Whitam army. We are the town, we are, we are, we are the town, we are the town, we are the town, we are, we are. Clear. Well cleared. I think that's why we're dawning, I think. No, 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 we turn. Well, play Abby Fairs. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. So, so, like. No, no, no. Management staff. Come on, town. Let's get a goal. Come on. Oh, Good 
sorry how he fares! Yes! Bailey yes! gets the wheels out! Yes! 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 Bailey gets the wheels out! score Whitton Town 1, Grays Athletic nil, and here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, James, Paul, Callum and Leon. Callum, Hi guys. guys, what a way in the first half, it was superb and right on the stroke of half time, great penalty and um, that, that was superb from the lads and um, it's amazing isn't it? He needed that, that's for sure, it's good. He needed a goal and he's got one. one. That's a good confidence boost. I thought we deserved to be ahead. I thought fair play to Grays. They, they kept kept us out with no chances, but we haven't taken all of them. But we got the penalty, which, yeah, I think it was a penalty. So, yeah, it was uh, good to get that goal. And, um, yeah, one and I can't ask for much more than that. Hopefully their, their uh, coaching staff is sent off. And <laughs> <laughs> he, won't, he won't shut up, but, no, it's been a good first half. And hopefully it'll carry on in the second it's been a fantastic first half from the Whitton Town players and um, we were superb and the attacking flowing football was superb and we had chance after chance but we got the goal with a penalty and um, it was amazing and um, but hopefully it'll be the same again in the second half. Yeah, good goal from Josh wasn't it? We deserve to be going in 1-0. Um, we've been all over them and we've got our 1-0 lead so yeah, if we carry on the second half hopefully we'll beat them. Yeah, 100%. We're feeling confident and the players are feeling really confident. They were feeling the buzz before the game and the players look really up for it against Grays Athletic and um, we were superb from the lads and um, the players gave everything and we got the goal and um, it's a great first half and um, if we play like we did first half, we should be, have more goals galore, hopefully. Yeah, it's been a tight game, isn't it? A few chances, but I think we've been a much better side, so I think we absolutely deserve that. The boys have done well, closed down, hustling again, getting in people's faces, so the attitude's been spot on. So yeah. I think we absolutely deserve to be in front. Let's hope we can kick on and do better in the second half and uh, get some more goals, because there's not too much to we've seen from Grays in the attacking force, so let's hope we can pin them back and kick on in the second half. What's your thoughts, Leon? My thoughts on this first half is a great penalty by Josh um, on scratch and half time. Um, I'm glad we're ahead at half time. That that probably gives the team an extra boost in the second half to, to hopefully go on and get some more goals to make it a safe win. Yeah, yeah well, I think we need we need to get a couple more goals because we don't have that many chances, but they had a chance earlier in the half where it was for a goal against a goal that could have gone in. <clears throat> so I think we need to get a couple more goals, but we look good. I mean, we look really good in this past half. Braves have not offered anything. So, yeah, a few more goals and get this win, yeah, make it comfortable and it'll be a good last, get a good, get to, it'll be good to get a last win in our last home league game of the season. 100%. Thank you guys so much for your time. No and problem, mate. Any time. And up the turn! Up the turn! Come on! I'm now with the another Whitton Town supporter, Alfie. Hey, James. Fantastic first half from the Whitton Town lads. The yeah. attacking flowing football was absolutely supreme in the first yeah. half. And yeah. um, we had chance after chances. And... Um, we could have been at least two or three up at, at half time, but we got the penalty and yeah. Josh's fantastic penalty mm -hmm. made it 1 0. And um, but as a whole, we were superb in the first half. Yeah, superb in the first half, mate. Like I said, I think the 
wind is being a massive factor <laughs> at the moment. The, the ball's going all over the place. We've got the wind against us now in the second half. But like we said, we've had chances and we have been the better team in the first half and deserved to be one the luck with the penalty. So I think the penalty is a little bit soft, but however, you need that luck in football and we take that. So one the up at half time, we've got to build on. Like I said, we need that 42 points and if we win today, we get the objective completed and uh, 42 points is pretty. 100% and I have my full support for your dad Gary 1000% this season and um, because like since he came back last June it brought me huge delight and bring me lots of cheer and happiness and when your dad came back last June and because um, like we said he loves the club close to his heart and that's why he came back last June and um, we're moving in the right direction and um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to next season already. Yeah, mate, yeah. Like, so like I said, three points on the last home game we've been matching today. So we can end up on a win. We'll go to Malden and get a win on the final day of the season. That's where that'll be even better. But the best is yet to come for Wittenhout Football Club. Next season is, is our time to shine. And uh, we'll be hopefully doubling what points we've got this season for next season. So we'll be right up for the change. 100%. Thank you so much for your time, Alfie. Yeah. And same again, second yeah. half and up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Up the town. Come on! Why are they? 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 Oh, how? Corn to Grey's Athletic. Go, Chris! Go, Chris! Should be finishing that. My God! Oh, what is he? What is he doing, man? We got away with that. Must be! Yes! 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 Yes, 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 Leon. Well yes, 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 Yes! Come on! Corn to Grace Athletic! What a save from Harry Fares! Play Kiki. Play Liam. Play Liam. Where to a massive? Everywhere we go. Where to a massive?
Play our team. You almost fucked it up. Yes, Ollie. Yes, oh, Harry. Gosh. Clean sheet. Yeah, again, well played. Well played, okay, Kevin. Well played. Well played, Josh. Yes, Josh. Yes, Lauren. Yes. Hey, well, I'm sure not on that. Yes, Gary. Yes! <laughs> yes! The full time score, Witten Town 2, Grays Athletic Neil. And here we got the Witten Town chairman. Mark and the Whistentown manager Gary Kimball. Hello James. Guys, what a great way to end the season. But it was been a up and down like roller coaster, but um but what is your thoughts on this season for Whitton Town? Right James, the thoughts are we don't worry about this year now. What we're doing is worrying about next year, yes. Yeah? So mm. your new manager for next year, do you know who it is? Gal? He's accepted next year. <laughs> Now, James Brilliant. Recorded, all right? yes. conversation, all right? Brilliant. Thank you so much, no Mark. Worries. Thank you, Gary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, um, <laughs> well played, Gary. 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 Well I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Leon, Callum, Connor, Laura and Rick. Hello mate. Alright James. <laughs> Guys, what a great end to the season. 2-0 win for Whitton Town and we finished the season on the high and... Um, we've got one more game yet James. Oh we've got one more game to go. One more league game to go but of course it's last home league game of the season, the home game. And then we got um, Mould and Tiptree away. We'll and... smash him. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, we'll like... smash him. Yeah, definitely. We owe him big time. For the <laughs> Sorry, my mind's gone a little bit because like, I got really excited with the win, and because uh, that because that win really means so much to me and all of us. Yeah. That, that final home league game of the season with a win, and um, it's my mind got a bit all over the place because because we all got so excited with the win, and um, and now we roll on to next season, but we got the final league game of the season yep. away to Mould and Tiptree and then we got the semi-final on Tuesday to really look forward to and um, it is absolutely amazing but it's been a roller coaster like up and down yep. but um, we got there that. into mid-table yeah exactly yeah, yeah look it was a I think it was a good game today I'm happy we got the win let's be honest Grays they're not a good side they didn't really offer anything they had about two chances and that was about it but no, it's good to get the win, but yeah, it's been an up and down season. I think the only thing I can fault about the season is our consistency. Mm. Because you look at we've beaten, you know, we've beaten Haybridge, we've beaten Molden as well, we've beaten teams that are up there fighting to go up. Well, it's just the teams below us we seem to chuckle against, like Redbridge and Stone Market. If we can beat those, then we'll be be a lot higher in the table. So hopefully. That's the one thing we, we need to work on for next season because it's going to be a tough season, but you know, it'll be exciting to see who comes up and who, who joins us and who comes down and what teams we'll have. But no, it's been, on the whole, it's been a really good season and we have, we've finished mid table, so that's good. <laughs> don't you think, right, when we, when we play teams like this, right, I know they're a rubbish side, but don't you think we lower our game? We go down to lazy. Look at the last three games, right? We played top teams, right? And we played some good football. But today we got dragged down to their level mm. of booting up in the air all the time rather than on the deck. Yeah. You know, you look at you look at some of the games we played, like Same like, with Stanway as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, there's one, yeah. We booted it. We didn't play football. Mm. And we can't do that Tuesday neither. But yeah, we did we they were sort of drag us down, if you know what I mean. We've got to treat them as any other team. Yeah, yeah. Just because they're at the bottom, yeah. they could still do a yeah. job on us. Yeah. But we should play the best them. we can against every team possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, it was like a roller coaster. It was, exactly, it was. A roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. 
They had nothing, like Alan said, they had nothing yeah. at all up front. There are two chances, <laughs> two chances which yeah. possibly they should have taken. A keeper had a bit of a fumble with it, but no, it was just good to get the, the win in our last home game. And yeah, we've got two, two games left. Let's hopefully we can win them both. And let's hope we put in 110% in both games because we know Clacton is going to be tough mm. yeah, exactly. because they're I know they're league below us but we still got to go out and, and play well because like we said if we drop down to the level it's going to be a lot harder to, and, to... And, and like Rick said it's their cup final said, on nothing, Tuesday and and exactly and it's not going to be easy but so if they're going to throw everything they can at us yeah, exactly. and if we keep to the same performance like today into to Tuesday's game and we should be on the roll against FC Clacton but it won't be very easy no. what do you think Connor? It will be a very hard game to choose, though. But we, if we played it like we did today, then we should hopefully win. But we should have dropped down to the level like we did today, because otherwise they could potentially start a set us. Like a big cup upset, and exactly. um, we've got to be like 100% like we did today, and um, we've got to put on a really good performance against FC Clapton, but I know they're from the Essex Senior League, but I oh, know we've we won level for five. If you look at when we played Stanway, it was a very they they, had, they could have beaten us really. We didn't play well at all in the Stanway game. Mm. So we we know if we can play like we did against Felix Stone, Haybridge, then we'll easily beat them comfortably. It's just whether we can perform that on Tuesday. Well, what's your thoughts, Leon? My thoughts on this game is amazing. They had a few chances, but that was it. Um, we had most of the chances, we had most of the possession, yeah, in we, my eyes. We didn't play football like we can do today. No. We didn't, because we got dragged into their level of kicking it, rushing, kicking and rushing. That's all we did today, we didn't play our normal football. And the two chances we had to score, we scored, but you know. Yeah, I'm sorry. And that's all that matters, exactly. really. Yeah, that's points. all it matters, yeah. yeah at this stage, we've got nothing to play for, yeah. so it's just about putting in forms. We won, that's the main thing. And I'm so happy for Harry Fares with his clean sheet and... Um, he didn't really have to do anything today. He had a little bit of a fumble, but apart from that, he had nothing else. He wasn't tested at all. He could have got a deck chair and laid down. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was not tested at all. They didn't have a centre forward, did they? No, no, no. That's what, no, they said they didn't have a striker, but... No, I mean, he didn't He didn't get tested no, at all. No worries. So he could have sat back with a book. He, could have, he didn't even have to be in goal. It was that easy for us. But no, I think... Nick Molden again, that'll be a tough game. I think we've beaten them twice and they've beaten us, so it's got to be an exciting last game of the season. But mm. as long as we go in and put, put in 100%, even if we get beat, as long as we try our best, that's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for your time and roll to Tuesday night semi final. Thanks, James. That's all right. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm now with the Whittam Town player and the goal scorer, Josh Osude. Yeah, James. Good, thank you. What is your thoughts on the game against Grey's Athletic? Um, I felt like the first 15 minutes were all over them, creating chances. I don't know what happened, but we fell off. The intensity wasn't there, but we brought it back in the second half. and happy to get two goals for the win. The Whitman Town fans have been superb as always throughout the whole 90 minutes, especially the whole season of this season. 100%. Um, like I said before recent, um, in my previous videos, they are top man on the pitch. They literally saw us through the game today and um, I just want to say thank you to them. You're very welcome. And um, what has been your best moment for Whitman Town this season? Um, just contributing with goals anyhow I can to get the win and just seeing everyone happy really. And what has been your favourite Whitton Town goal this season? Favourite Whitton Town goal? Oh, that's a tough question. I'll probably be... Um, probably my goal against Felix at home. I was a big club. They were really good and I was just happy to get two goals that game. Super. Thank you so much for your time, Josh. And we go again on Tuesday. Yes, we do. See you guys there. Thanks. Up the town. Up the town. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter, Alfie. Good, right, James. Good, thank you. What a great end for a win for Whitton Town. 2 0 win for Whitton Town. Last home league game of the season. And then we've got one more league game to go away at Mould and Tiptree. Mm -hmm. And. Um, 
We have been superb this 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 afternoon, and uh, the players were supreme yep. in throughout the whole ninety minutes. And Josh's goal in the set, the second goal was brilliant from Josh. And yeah, mate, um, yeah. we have been superb, and this season's been a roller coaster, but a fantastic end to the season. But yep. um, but we've really enjoyed a good year yep. for Whitsun Town. But this is a start for your dad's second full term to finish mid table and then build like into next season we'll see how it goes and it's, it's amazing isn't it it's good mate uh, today was a good battle uh, we was on top first and second half 2-0 win definitely deserved the three points win was a massive factor in the game uh, but we've got the three points uh, my dad hit his target today 42 points which was great great to see and uh, like I said mate it's been been a roller coaster of emotions this season <laughs> wins loses draws but it's, a fancy, it's been a fantastic season, mate. 42 points, couldn't have asked for much more than that. And if we can get a win on the last day of the season as well against Malden and finish as high as we can, that would be superb as well, mate. But yeah, it's been, it's been great, mate. And your support throughout the whole season has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. And just got to ignore the criticism now, criticism, and just uh, keep positive and keep people making jokes and stuff. Because like you said, mate, you're the number one supporter and they're the one having the last, you're the one having the last half. So don't worry about the haters, mate. Thanks, Alfie. Keep and um, yeah, definitely. It's been a great end to the season for Whitton Town and it's like a roller coaster up and down. And um, But we got there at the end in the yep. mid-table finish yep. and then we got the semi-final to really look forward to in the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup. And yeah, like I have, said, yeah. your dad has a fantastic record since his first full term that he, he won us the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup in 2012, 2013, yep. came runners up in 2014, and he had a superb record. Mm -hmm. And that is why I am confident that if we play like we did this afternoon at home against FC Clacton on Tuesday, and walk in the park, James. 100%, and then get into the final against Chelsea City. Hard opposition, but if we can battle against lower stuff, Felix Stone, get results against Brighton City. We could get a result against Chelsea. Yeah. It depends what they put out. Depends if they're going to put a strong team out, a weak side out. You think end of the season. We won't worry about them. Yeah, we don't worry about them. We worry about ourselves. As long as we, like all the fans say, like Laura, yourself, as long as the players give 110%, no matter what the score is, as long as they've tried their hardest, you can't expect much more than that. Yeah, 100%. I agree 100%. As long as the players give our all in the semi-final against FC Clapton, like we said, we should walk over against Clapton, but it won't be easy. Yeah, but no. we're feeling really confident now for Tuesday night after yeah. that brilliant win against Grays Athletic. And we capped it off with a great end at our last home league game of the season. But we've got no, one wait, more league yeah. game now away at Molden Tiptree, final game great. of the season. And that'll be great. And that'll be superb, and then we can push on to next season. Yeah. And we're feeling the bars and excited for next season mm -hmm. already. And it's it's been a great end, but it's an up and down season. But it was a superb end yeah. to the season. If we can get the win, like you said, if we won today our last home game at Whitton, we get a win. We got a win today. If we get a win on the last game of the season against Molden, that'll be even better. Then we can look forward to the Euros with England in the summer, and then we come back to the league in August, September with Whitham and uh, hopefully we'll be pushing for higher in the table next season, I believe. Like like you said, people predicted us to finish bottom of the league this season. We proved them wrong. Proved them wrong. We proved, proved the data's wrong. wrong. Data's all wrong. And we finished, what, 14th? Could even still finish 12th. So we've, we've had a good season, mate. Mid-table, we'll take that. We'll take that all day long. 100%. Thank you so much for your time, Alfie. Yeah. And roll on to Tuesday night. Roll on Tuesday. Come on the town! Come on! Brilliant. So here you go. I am so emotionally happy. I am emotional because it brought me so much happiness on not just Whitton Town's 2-0 win. I have received the best, best news in a long, long time that Gary Kimball is staying as Whitton Town manager next season. Oh, I'm emotionally happy because I'm so happy for Gary Kimball because he loves the club close to his heart. And um, this season I fully supported 
our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, this season. I have my full support this season. And um, I know it's been a roller coaster season, but it is a fantastic end to the season in Whitton Town's 2 0 win against Grace Athletic. And like I said, Gary Kimball is staying as Whitton Town manager next season. It's the best news in a long time because this season it's been tough, but a great end to the season because, like, that's why after I, after I received the best news in a long time, it choked me very much emotionally happy it really choked me after i received the best news and it it choked me a lot because i was so emotionally happy it's it's happy tears for me as well and um but i'm, I'm, I'm all right now because um i couldn't hide my delight because like um i'm happy for gary kimball because um he loves the club so much and he deserves it next season to stay on as Witten Town manager next season because we love him at the club very much and um, and this season I've always supported our Witten Town manager Gary Kimball. One thousand, not one thousand percent, one million percent of my full backing for our Witten Town manager Gary Kimball this season. And I'm buzzing for next season already, and um, oh, I'm so emotional. It's, it's it's been the best news for a long time. And um, I just want to say to you all, thank you all so much for all of your amazing support for me this season as well, because um, because it's it's been a hard year for me mentally, but. But I am really enjoying it so much this season on not just being a Whitton Town supporter. I really enjoy contributing by vlogging the matches and interviews with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters home and away this season. But we've got one more league game next Saturday away to Molden Tiptree and we've got the semi-final to really look forward to on Tuesday night against FC Clacton. And I've got my fingers crossed for Whitton Town to, to end the season with a trophy, to come away with a trophy at the end of this season for Whitton Town to win the Tolson Darcy Memorial Cup. But it's gonna to be tough, but we've got to get past FC Clacton in the semi-final. And, um, and then we've got Molden Tiptree final league game of the season away at Molden Tiptree and um, sorry, sorry, it's been, I see the best news in a long time from our Witten Town chairman, it's amazing, it's so emotionally happy because I'm so happy for Gary Kimball to stay next season because he loves the club so much. And um, <laughs> we love him at the club and um, I'm buzzing for next season already and I'm really looking forward to it and especially I'm really looking forward to the remaining two matches and, and let's hope we're going to come out like we did this afternoon and come away with two more wins this season and... Let's hope our club, Whitton Town, will be out on the roll in the remaining matches. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to FC Clacton on Tuesday, the 23rd of April. Get in there! We love you, Gary. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. Come on the town.